the decreed hour is come. Set forth with my blessing, Prince Noctis. Thank you, Your Majesty. Take your leave and go in the grace of the gods. Right. <sighs> Well, princes will be princes. So much for royal protocol. Not like you had to deliver a formal address. Your Highness! What now? I fear I have left too much unsaid. You place a great burden on those who would bear with you. <laughs> You're one to talk. I ask not that you guide my wayward son, merely that you remain at his side. Indeed, Your Grace. We'll see the Prince to Altissia if it's the last thing we see. Yeah, what he said. Hate to break this up, but Kor's got the motor running. Drados, he's in your hands. And another thing. Do mind your manners around your charming bride-to-be. Your Majesty as well. Try to mind yours around our esteemed guests from Niflheim. You have no cause for concern. Nor do you. Take heed. Once you set forth, you cannot turn back. You think I would? I need only know that you are ready to leave home behind. Don't know about you, but I'm ready as I'll ever be. Take care on the long road. Wheresoever you should go, the line of Lucis goes with you. Walk tall, my son. Forget about hitching our way there. Thought people were friendly outside the city. Yeah, you can only go so far on the kindness of strangers. Well, you're just gonna have to push her all the way. I've already pushed myself to the brink of death. You get up. <sighs> Come on, cars are gonna move itself. Sheesh. I thought the car was supposed to move us. Wouldn't that be nice? Can it? Ready, steady. Push! <laughs> you guys even pushing? Hard as I can. With everything I've got, we'll be there in no time. Y'all kept a girl waiting. Now, which one's the prince? Aha! Hello, your highness. Congrats on your wedding. Not hitch just yet. Lady Luna Freya's groom to be here in Hammerhead. Apologies for taking so long. <laughs> you best save your apologies for Paw Paw. Well, that makes you. Cindy, Sid's grease monkey granddaughter. Roll her in while I'm still young. Didn't your daddy tell you? She's a custom classic, not some beat up old clunker. Prince Noctis. Uh, yeah. Prince. Like they took your old man and kicked the dignity out of him. What? You got a long way to go, son. And that slack jaw's getting you nowhere fast. She's gonna take a while. Y'all get her in and run along. <sighs> Y'all heard him. Let's get moving. 
Brad this way. She's all ready for you. Have a look. You bet. Let's hit it. Hammerhead is like no garage ever. You know? One would expect no less of purveyors to the crown. Ah, <sighs> I'll miss it once this road trip's over with. <sighs> There's no reason you can't pay them a visit anytime you please. I'm sure Cindy will be glad to look after your car. Oh, right. So, that's what this is about. If you need, I could always lend you the regalia. Whoa! <laughs> uh, thanks for the offer, but once we're back in the Crown City, I think I'd better score my own wheels. Hmm? Umbra. Bringing us stuff. Had a boy. A dog can really track a scent. Certainly knows how to find us. How do you always know, boy? Just a sec. Nice flower. It's the same kind we sewed our crowns from. Oh yeah, sill blossoms. So, I have a favor to ask. Take the notebook with you when you go. Sure. That's not all. I want you to put something in the book and send it back. gonna tell me then don't ask what was that about <sighs> you don't say what's the forecast clear skies with the temperature rising nice Formality. One of those symbol of the peace deals. So it's more like a marriage of convenience. Her ladyship seems nevertheless amenable to the prospect. And Noctir likes the idea. <sighs> What's that? I do? Buzz off. Lady Luna Freya's dress. That's some fancy fabric work. Bet the groom can't wait to see it on his bride to be. Uh, he's not the only one. Whew. She's gonna be an absolute knockout. The dress is bespoke, of course, and comes courtesy of one of Altitia's foremost fashion designers. How about we try some local surf? How about we? Welcome to Golden Key. I'm afraid you're out of luck. Are we? The boats bring you here. What about them? Well, they'll not take you forth. And what's your story? I'm an impatient traveler, ready to turn ship. 
The ceasefire's getting us nowhere. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of souvenir? <gasps> they make those? What? No. Consider it your allowance. Huh? Yeah. And who's allowing us? A man of no consequence. Mm. Oh. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh. Where's Specs? Should be back any minute now. What's that look for? It's in all the papers. What is? Insomnia... false. What? That's your idea of a joke? I need you to calm down so I can explain. I'm as calm as I'm gonna get! There was an attack. The Imperial Army has taken the Crown City. As treaty room tempers flared, blast lit the night sky. When the smoke about the Citadel had cleared, the King was found dead. No, wait! Hold on! We had no way of knowing. What? Knowing what? That the signing was last night. That insomnia. But the wedding! Altitia! I know. That was the plan. Yet the reports of the invasion are all the same. How could every headline in the kingdom be wrong? <sighs> Lies. Hmm. If only... <sighs> what else do we know? Well, then we can't be sure until we see it with our own eyes. And that means we go back to Insomnia. Might not be safe for us there. Might not be safe for us here. Turn back. Dreadnoughts. They transport soldiers, namely the Magitech infantry. The robots? Mass-produced humanoid weapons of warfare, to be more precise. It doesn't look like they'll be signing that peace treaty. Up ahead! <laughs> They've set up an inspection point. If the road ahead's blocked, then we find a way around. Let's make a detour. There ought to be a decent vantage point up ahead. As the 
ceasefire discussions between the two nations. All provisional terms have been suspended in light of recent developments. Moreover, in the wake of the news of King Regis' death, we've now received word that Crown Prince Noctis and the Oracle Luna Freya have also been pronounced dead. Keep it on. Oh. Don't bother! the city with no way back in makes sense <sighs> makes sense are you serious what about any of this makes sense the news just told me i'm dead along with my father and luna listen i'm heading out to hammerhead <sighs> about the king it's true <sighs> if you're looking for the whole truth you know where to find me get moving Right. What did the Marshal have to say? Said he'd be in Hammerhead. And the King? Suppose the Crown's Guard is still active. I would count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. Well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Only ways forward. Crystal and the King's Ring, what they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away, and he wasn't going to go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough. You need something else, you talk to Cor. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago.
Marshal. At last, Your Highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you. To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. The power of kings goes with you, your majesty. Stay right where you are! Well, well, if it isn't Kor the Immortal. So, you survived the Citadel. But you won't survive what I have in store for you. It's past time your legend came to an end. Impressive. Seeing you in action puts my mind at ease. It's clear I don't need to worry anymore. I'll return to watching the NIFs. Till next time, take care. so bad out here once you get used to it. Still a lot we haven't seen, though. And a lot for us to do. <sighs> yeah. Buck up. We're just getting started. <sighs> so, the prince eludes death. And what of the elusive ring? Eluna Freya has absconded with it. Find and kill her. The ring is the final piece. We may do well to take her alive. The six wield power beyond our imagination. The Oracle holds the key for the king. She could unlock many secrets. Nay, High Commander. Lord Ravis, the Imperial Army is now at your disposal. A moot point, while the fugitives remain at large. My men and I will continue our search for the Prince and the Oracle. So glorious. My crystal. It's like we're warping to another dimension. Wonder where we'll end up.
Nice. This place is pretty big. Haven't enjoyed the city life in a while. They even got a cable car! I'd like to see where it leads. Whoa! Did you feel that? You mean the earthquake? Uh, what's wrong? My head just started throbbing. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Iris. Look at you guys holding your own out there. <laughs> what can I say? You look good. All things considered, you guys are staying here, right? That's the plan. When you have time, we have catching up to do. Sure. Jared and Talcott, is it good to see you? Prince Noctis! Iris is safe with me. <laughs> Please excuse my grandson. He has yet to learn his manners. I like it. Your Highness is very kind. But we shan't impose. A very good night to you, Your Highness. So, Iris. What was it like inside the Crown City? Not pretty. The Citadel took a beating. But a lot of outlying neighborhoods made it through in one piece. The Empire had tactical targets in mind. You know, if there's anything else, you can ask me. Yeah, uh, thanks. <clears throat> uh, what? So, about... Lady Lunafreya. I keep hearing she was in town. <laughs> Apparently she left right away. But at least it means she's okay. <sighs> good to hear. Thanks. Yeah, well, get a good night's rest. Morning, sleepyhead. Morning. Where is everyone? Oh, they're out walking with Talcott. They went to see the sights. We should too. Sure. Why not? Great. I'll show you around. <laughs> Haven't had fun like this since we were kids. Thanks, Noct. No sweat. I had fun too. <laughs> you did? I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. You all right? He'll be fine, don't worry. But we ought to take a closer look at this so-called disc. Then look no further than the outlook. We can use the viewer things. No substitute for being on site, but it would be a start. Let's see what we can glean of Nox's condition. What a coincidence. I'm not so sure it is. Aunt Nursery Rhymes curious things. Like this one, from the deep the Archean calls. Yet on deaf ears the god's tongue falls. The king made to kneel in pain, he crawls. So how do we keep him on his feet? You need only heed the call. Visit the Archean and hear his plea. I can take you. We in? I don't know. We take a ride. But watch our backs. Fair enough. Let's do it. We take two vehicles, a convoy of sorts, shall we? You drive your car and I drive mine. With that decided, let us be off. Just to be clear, this isn't a race, it is a chase. You're not to pass me. Lose sight of me and you'll lose your way. And no tailgating. An accident would spoil the trip. All right, all right. Let's hit the road already. Knocked. How are the headaches? Fine for now, but they come without warning. Wouldn't want to have one behind the wheel. Stop if you need to, alright? 
Hey, Ignis. How's it feel being away from the wheel? Positively frightening. What are you saying? That I'm no stranger to His Highness's driving habits. Appreciate the confidence. Read a book. It'll take your mind off it. I'd rather keep my eyes on the road for now, thank you. I guess nothing can take your mind off Knox driving. Hello, it's me. Be so kind as to open up. Wow, that worked. I may not look like much, but I do have some influence. Aren't you glad we came together? Your audience with Divinity lies ahead. You're leaving? I drop you at the Archean's open door. And with that, bid you farewell. Is that what I think it is? Didn't expect to find a royal tomb here. Would be a shame not to grab that power, eh, Highness? Let's grab it and go. yourself up. safe. Is there a way back up? No, but there's a path. Gonna see where it leads. You two try to get down. Very well. We'll look for a way. Be careful now. Just want this to be over. You want to talk? So do I. Yeah, the feeling's mutual. Let's move. Ugh, I'm sick of this endless walking. Then I'm sick of your endless whining. Calm the hell down. Get off my back. Are you a man of royal blood, or aren't you? <laughs> of course I am. I couldn't forget it if I tried. What about it? I ain't saying that you've forgotten, but you gotta know something. You're not the only one who's having a tough time. We're all on edge. 
We Amicidia are the King's sworn shields. Guard the King with our lives. That's the way it's always been. I've embraced my duty. And I take pride in it. When you can't focus, I focus for you. It's my job, so let me do it, all right? All right. Sorry, but I had to get it out. Come on. Uh. And remember, don't rush ahead on your own. Hey, Gladio. Your dad, huh? I'm grateful to him. Just doing his job. Hmm? Isn't that your phone? Ignis. You're safe. Good. Listen, Imperial troops are here. I got cut off. But it sounds like we're about to have Imperial company. It's about to get even hotter in here. Hey! I'm here! Is it you want? Quit screwing with my head! You gotta be kidding me. Are you alright? I owe you one. This ain't gonna work. Go, go! D ah, damn it! Just won't quit. Game's up. Yeah! You're out. Pets are over. Myself. Isunia! Arden Isunia! Imperial Chancellor Isunia! At your service, and more importantly, to your aid! I guarantee your safe passage. Though you're always welcome to take your chances down there. Buried among the rubble, is it? Dying here is not an option. I have no choice, Noct. I know. High Commander Ravis Nox Foray issued the following statement regarding the Imperial blockades across the region. We believe the insurgents behind the Citadel attack have taken refuge in disguise. The blockades shall help us root out the criminals. I realize the inconvenience imposed upon the citizenry, but we must each do our part for the good of all. The High Commander also stressed the Imperial Army would continue its recovery efforts in the Crown City.
The frequent quakes which rocked the Disky and Clean regions in recent days have finally quieted. In response, the Empire provided the following comment. The cause of the tremors was the Archean who had awakened in a fit of rage. The Imperial Army took swift action and laid the unruly giant to rest, thus averting disaster. Eyewitness reports confirm Titan has disappeared from the Disk of Caucasus. I still can't believe it. I mean, shouldn't the car have turned up by now? We should wait until Cindy's done asking around the local garages before we despair. Let's not fool ourselves. The Empire has it. We could ask Arden to help us out again, right? The Imperial Chancellor. He represents a problem, not a solution. So where does that leave us? Stranded. Awaiting word from Hammerhead. In the meantime, we'll have to hoof it. Look! It's Umbra! Gentiana. Hear me, O King of the Stone. By the Storm Sender's blessing, will the path to the stone be opened? The Oracle goes hence in her King's name. Luna, where is she now? The Eye of the Storm. <sighs> when the Covenant is forged, the Oracle and Ring shall await their King at the Walls of Water. Stray not from the path. <sighs> She's a messenger. A spirit. Faithful to the Oracle. Uh, for real? <laughs> We're going beyond real now, pal. Let Luna know I'm okay, and she won't have to wait much longer. We'll be together soon. The crystal was gifted to mankind, that we might know lasting prosperity. If the crystal belongs to everyone, how come only Lucis gets to use it? The kings of Lucis do not simply use the crystal. They also protect it. Wait, so my dad's guarding it? Yes. I had no idea. To crown the King of Light is the calling of the crystal. And keeping the crystal safe until that day falls to the line of Lucis. And I'm the chosen. Yes, only the true king, anointed by the crystal, can purge our star of its scourge. You really think I can do that? As Oracle, I will see to it. Hmm? To aid the king is the oracle's calling. Then... I guess I can do it. I won't let you down. I know you won't. Unto the king alone this voice is heard. To follow the words is to follow the chosen path. Bridging heaven and earth it strikes, the storm's ephemeral yet eternal light. To the light must go the king. Not.
The young prince is recovering well. Who? Gentiana, my messenger. The prince has read of our kind? Oh, I tried to, but I only know what Luna told me. Hmm. Lady Luna Freya. Yeah, Luna f for Luna. It is heartening to see the future king and the oracle enjoy such familiarity. The fate of our world may depend on it. I remember back in Tenebrae with Gentiana. The revelation of the storm sender awaits the king. Hurry hence to the eye of the storm. Foreign hordes fear the true king's ascension. The fearful seek to seal the path of what must come. The seal has been lifted. Deep within the heart of rock lies the runestone, the portal to power. No other can be allowed to find it. Watch it. Be still, all of you. Not good. Heir to a crown befitting no other. Witness his splendor and glory. All hail the chosen king. Awful high and mighty for an imperial rat, serving the enemy to hunt down Luna. I do not serve, I command. The king's sworn shield. You better believe it. A weak shield protects naught. <laughs> hey! Wanna go? Let's do it! Should the Chosen fall, that too is fate. I'd say that's far enough. A hand, Highness. Not from you. Oh, but I'm here to help. And how is that? By taking the army away. You expect us to believe that? When next we meet, it'll be across the seas. Just so happens, we have business of our own with the tutelary deity, don't we? Fare thee well, your majesty. And safe travels. You guys know that guy? Ravis Nox Fleuret, first son of Tenebrae, and elder brother to Lady Luna Freyo. The Empire came, and while you were gone, none of us said a word about Noct. They just showed up and then... <sighs> Poor Jared. What do you mean? What happened to Jared? There was nothing we could do! Should have been here. 
I, I couldn't stop them. But I won't let the Empire get away with it. They'll pay for what they've done. I promise. I believe in you, Prince Noctis. <laughs> I'm taking Talcott, and we're going to Kayim. We... We can't just stay here and do nothing. I understand. I can't let her go it alone, after everything that went down. It'll be a squeeze in the car, but just for a while. Looking at the regalia really reminds me of home. It sure doesn't look like any of the cars you see around here. And it's a lot roomier, too. I can't imagine trying to cram five people, including Gladi, into one of those things. Have you ever ridden in one? Can't say we have. There was barely enough room for our luggage. Thank goodness you guys could give me a lift. Think the others made it to Kayam all right? I suppose we'll find out when we get there. Are you guys excited to visit Altisha or what? I guess. I'm so jealous. We're not going on vacation. Oh, yeah. You're right. Here is? Something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. I I'm not jealous, I just had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. But that'll all be in the past once we hit Kayim. What are you talking about? We can hang out anytime, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. Say what? I got some business of my own to deal with. Do your thing. Not like we could stop you anyway. You know me too well. Well, see you around, guys. So, what you doing? Nothing much. Just chilling. Hmm. Cool. Huh. <sighs> That was one hell of a day, huh? Yeah. But it was fun. Every day's fun. Even when we almost get ourselves killed. Huh. I never imagined it'd work out like this. That I'd get to go on an adventure with you guys. Who would have thought, huh? So, how long have we been friends now? Oh, let's see. Beginning of high school. So that's... Five years? <laughs> yeah, but... We've known each other way longer than that. Ever since elementary school, right? Huh? You still remember that? Could hardly forget being gawked at. <laughs> well, you know, it isn't exactly easy being in the presence of royalty. And when we did meet in high school, you pretended it was the first time. Yeah, the first time I worked up the nerve to say something. <sighs> Feels just like yesterday. You should have said something sooner. 
Oh, Nox. <laughs> you just wouldn't understand. <sighs> Back then, I was... Actually, never mind. You can't just stop halfway. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I used to be super shy. Couldn't talk to people. No surprises, but I had no friends. At least not real ones. I was always alone. And there were times when I felt, well, worthless. I mean, when you look at me, you wouldn't think that I'm anything but a fun-loving, happy-go-lucky joker. But that isn't the real me. Behind all the quips and laughs, I'm a mess of hang-ups. I've always felt inferior to you guys. I'm not royalty, and I'm not strong. I'm nothing, really. Unlike Gladio, I'm not good with people. The way he connects with them, he's operating on a different level. Unlike Ignis, I'm not smart, and I can't cook to save myself. But when we hang out, it's so much fun, I forget what I'm not. Then reality hits me like a splash of cold water, and I remember that I don't belong. But I want to. Every moment, I'm desperate to earn my place, to prove that I'm good enough. Think what you will, but I think you're good enough for me. So, you really think I'm doing okay? Yeah, I do. Anything else? Uh, no. Nothing at all. I'm sorry I got so real all of a sudden. You should know better by now. You think I just make time for any old loser? Huh? <laughs> Why, you mad, bro? Seriously, though. Thanks for making time for this loser. Huh. <laughs> Feels good to get that off my chest. <laughs> Happy to hear. Huh. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna keep on keeping on the only way I know how. Yeah. You do that. Something I gotta get off my chest. <sighs> What's that? I'm sorry. Sorry I wasn't there for your father. I swore an oath to protect the king, but I wasn't strong enough to uphold it. <sighs> Ain't nothing nobody could have done to stop what happened. Yeah, I realize that. But you need to realize just what you mean to the boys by your side. <sighs> I do. Even if they can't solve your problems, you can't hide what's going on from them. It hurts like hell. Remember, those ain't your bodyguards. They're your brothers. Trust in them. <laughs> <laughs> 
always. What's up? Please, come back soon! We need our king! Uh, yeah, count on it. The wedding day arrives, but alas, without the bride. Of course, we've come for the Hydrian, and you've gone to such lengths to prepare. Merely my duty. Ah, but for an outsider to lead, the Imperial Army must be a battle in and of itself. You've spoken to Lady Luna Freya. No. That obstinate secretary, standing in the way, while you rush off to slay the Hydrian for your poor sister's sake. I know the price of the Covenant. You know, I've always wanted to go sailing like this. Not many opportunities living in insomnia. Out here, it's just us and the horizon. It's amazing. It's life-changing! We've quite a ways to go until we reach Altisha, so keep gushing to your heart's content. When we step off the boat, we'll be in a foreign country. The anticipation alone is a foreign sensation. Then to think this is where we were headed to begin with. We've been through a lot, and there's still more to come. So next on the docket is Leviathan. What sort of deity are we dealing with? A serpent said to embody the roar and rage of the sea. We'll have to see for ourselves. Can't let Lady Luna Freya do all the heavy lifting. You must be so psyched to see her. Luna? Yeah. Well, we need to make sure she's all right before anything else. Indeed. Her well-being is top priority. Don't like this going down on Imperial turf. You think Lady Luna Freya's in danger there? The Empire did invade Lucis for the ring. I have no faith their ruthless ambitions will stop short of harming the Oracle. Without the ring, the crystal's no more than a rock. Hmm, I suppose. Does anyone know how Lady Lunafreya came to have the ring? It seems likely His Majesty entrusted it to her safekeeping back at the Crown City. So she's held on to it this whole time, all the way to Altitia. The ring is important, and so is Leviathan. But Luna comes first. You know, I was thinking back to our encounter with Ravus. Hmm. Do you recall an apparatus in place of his arm? Yeah, I remember. Seems he lost his old one in the invasion. But in its place, he seems to have acquired new power. Power? That would help explain how a son of Tenebrae suddenly came to command Niflheim's army. Now that you mention it, his strength did seem sort of... Supernatural. I just chalked it up to the Oracle lineage. His ancestry may be part of it, but that alone wouldn't account for his freakish strength. I wonder what could have happened to him. There's a disturbing rumor about. Lord Ravus has taken to brandishing His Majesty's sword. My dad. Then what's the big idea behind that? That his power's the same as the power of kings? I cannot say for sure, but I have my doubts. Ravus wears the sword, yet doesn't wield it. <laughs> For all his newfound powers, he's still the Chancellor's lapdog, holding on to the enemy king's sword like some badge of honor. It might help if we knew what he was after. Who can say? What are the odds the Empire will crash the pool party with Leviathan? Consider it a guarantee. They felled a god to prevent Noct from receiving his blessing, and they'll do so again. But we beat him to the big guy. Thanks to our friendly guide. Hmm. Never know which way that one's gonna move next. The Chancellor has an agenda all his own. Sometimes it helps. Like when he called off his army and let us escape. But he was still a creep about it. Well, it feels like he's only helping us because he wants something. I just don't know what. Reckon we'll see him again? Certainly hope not. Not your type. 
No love lost for phonies. As Gladio said, his actions are motivated not by altruism, but by self-interest. And when he does come to our aid, I see only condescension in his eyes. Yeah, can't argue with that. Ever think you think too much? Sometimes, but it's always preferable to the alternative. <sighs> are we there yet? Well, didn't you say you always wanted to go sailing? Yeah, but all this ocean gets kind of bland after a while. <laughs> Last time I checked, it was amazing and life-changing. So, soon you'll have your old man's ring back. Yeah, when we arrive in Altitia. Good thing. To him, it was his heritage. Is that what my dad said? Carrying a royal line ain't a task to be taken lightly. For a small thing, that ring can sure weigh heavy. After he became king, I only ever saw his face in the paper. Wait, weren't you at the coronation? No, I was long gone from the city. Must have been invited at least. Had a fallen out of sorts with your old man. Right at the end of the trip. You did? I was given to understand you stayed in touch. We buried the hatchet years later but never talked face to face again. Should have paid a visit while I had the chance. Well, no use dwelling on it now. Got the regalia in the hold, but you're all gonna stay in Altitia for a good while, right? Yes, we believe so. In that case, I'll tune her up for y'all. Not that I'll have much to do, though. <laughs> well, with Cindy looking after the old girl. If you say she's good, she must be great. She was never afraid of hard work, heaven knows she had a hard childhood. A hard childhood? He means her parents. Lost them both when she was little. Was big enough to understand, though. And to hurt. But you wouldn't guess that, seeing her now. Not at all. She's always so cheerful. Well, that ought to tell you how far she's come. Well, you must have seen your fair share of Altitia by now. Yeah. Only done been the once. Stayed a good while, though. What's it like? Big old city. Big. Okay. Well, it ain't the crown city. Different. Got it. You'll see for yourself. Foreign lands seldom lend themselves to trite explanations. Change the scenery ought to do you good. Well, I'm all talked out. Can't be far to Altitia now, right? We'll be there in no time. Nice having the wind at our backs. Lodgings are our first order of business. All work and no play? Makes Ignis a dull boy. Someone has to babysit you two. Well, you're welcome to sleep in the wild. Ain't no hotel, but I know a fella has a place. Hey now. Westcom ran with Reggie and me way back when. Oh, was he the other one in that photo with the garage? Yeah. Runs himself a diner or a cafe or something. Go and see for yourselves. Sure. And does the place have a name? McGee or Magoo or uh, Mago. That's the one. Nice. You can count on Old West, but <laughs> he'll chew your ears off. The government issued a statement promising that the reasons behind awakening the Hydrian would be clarified in the ceremonial address. Got a signal! Delivering the address will be Lady Luna Freya, who was previously reported dead. This will mark her first public appearance since the violence that befell the signing ceremony. Lady Luna Freya's gonna give a speech? Sounds like it. Lord knows. This world could use some wisdom. Won't be much longer now, Noct. Yeah. Does this vessel have an entry permit? Uh, entry permit? Relax, I got one. Here. That's as old as they get. Seems in order, you may pass. Prepared in advance. Could say that, 30 odd years ago. That's what the guy meant by old. Lucky us, huh? 
That could have ended badly. Take a look at this. <gasps> They're extending the exhibit for Lady Lunafreya's wedding dress. <gasps> the Vivian Westwood? But wasn't that a memorial for her passing? Well, now it's a memorial for her safe return. Let's go see it while we still can. Oh, could that be the dress we read about in the papers? Doubtless. The designer's name is the same. Want to check it out? That depends on the groom. Might still be a sore spot. What, with his wedding getting called off? Who says we can't call it back on? It can still happen. True enough. Let's keep an eye out for it. One hell of a crowd. And that's the dress. My word. Everyone looks so happy. And it's all because of this one dress. Yeah. Real glad for you that Lady Luna Freya is safe and sound. Yeah. Well, that settles it. You gotta make it happen. Become a symbol of the peace. After we tie up all the loose ends, let's think about the ceremony. A fine idea. Yeah. I'll think about it. I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten-odd years. During the Rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you.
Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too. Of course. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach beyond these walls. For slowly but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. I know what you must know. 
that the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. is fulfilled. All in thrall to darkness shall know peace.
its stars of life and death. Noctis? Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. And you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But... that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> oh. 
Umbra left that for you. So, we're gonna roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Cartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. Eyesight's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. Has that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? <laughs> she gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <sighs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. Sure, you're ready for this. You got what it takes? To do what? To face your ancestors and convince them to lend you their strength. Got a long road ahead. Can you see this through? To the end? Can and will. Whether I like it or not, I've got a duty to fulfill. As king. <laughs> you're damn right you do. Then that means you'd better start taking this seriously. Nice 
one, Iggy. Just wish they found a better place to build it. A moment. Is everything okay? It bloody well isn't. And I won't suffer this pointless bickering in silence any longer. <sighs> Let's be frank. My vision hasn't improved, and probably won't. Yet in spite of this, I would remain with you all. To the very end. <laughs> Sorry, but my object. War is a matter of life and death. But we'll be there! It's not about us looking out for him! Uh-huh. Well, then he should be free to choose. There's more to it than just what he wants. I know full well! I won't ask you to slow down. If I cannot keep up, I will bow out. <sighs> what says His Majesty? Noct, you are king. One cannot lead by standing still. The king pushes onward always, accepting the consequences and never looking back. Gladio, Noct will take his rightful place, but only once he's ready. Have it your way. We're still taking a big risk. We better all be ready. <sighs> we're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top-notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. The last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh. Is someone else there? Gladio. He just came back. Where did he go, anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. Huh. Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire's already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. Uh, uh, whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. Never seen anything like it.
doesn't make any sense. Going on. Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, this is for real. Show yourself! Uh knocked. Yeah. That son of a bitch. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Why wouldn't I? Why are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this! You won't even let me! Noct, please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! Noct! Are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait. He's here? If he is... That would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. <laughs> Pronto! Oh! 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 Ah! How long were you in the dark? 